All right, the scene in Cincinnati, Ohio right now. A big crowd getting ready to hear from Donald Trump. Mike Pence will be there as well. I believe he will. Of course, they started this uh, thank you tour, as they're calling it, in Indiana, of course, where the, uh, the president-elect was very instrumental in securing 1,100 jobs that would continue to exist. Good news for them going into the Christmas uh, season here. Uh, but in Ohio, a state he won uh, conveniently and easily. Not one of those states that, by the way, is demanding a recount. He won Ohio by eight points. But Wisconsin... Well, that recount has started. It started today. Hillary Clinton's campaign uh, asking for help with that. Happy to uh, provide it. Now the Wisconsin Republican Party filing a complaint with the Federal Election Commission that the whole thing just stinks. It's something weird uh, is going on. Initiated by Jill Stein, an independent presidential candidate, garnered a little more than 1% of the vote. What does she hope to prove here? Uh, the idea is proof of hacking that might have gone on. But again, this is uh, not... A hand recount here. So, what is going on? Judge Ada Napolitano, what do you think? Well, you know, we, we, we good afternoon, Neil. It's always a pleasure to be with you. Same we here. start out with the premise that the election laws do not guarantee a perfect outcome, but they guarantee a fair outcome. However, uh, notwithstanding that, Wisconsin's laws permit a recount without any showing whatsoever of any unfairness or inaccuracy. Come up with the cash and you get the recount. So Mrs. Stein has combined with Mrs. Cl combined forces with Mrs. Clinton, Stein providing the money, Clinton providing the, the human beings to engage in this recount without any significant evidence whatsoever that the outcome might be different or that there was any unfairness. So what is their goal? I guess the goal for Stein is to raise money for her fledgling little left-wing party for four years from now, and the goal for Clinton God, is she going to run in four years, Neil? The goal for Clinton, I guess, is to unite with these lefties who deserted her uh, last month. Yeah, I mean, if you combine the, the Jill Stein votes that conceivably would have gone to Hillary Clinton, you might make a case for some of these close states, so Wisconsin and Michigan, uh, maybe Pennsylvania. It would have been a different story. But I, I, what I'm wondering is uh, how likely a change in, in the vote is in any of these states. I believe in, in Wisconsin it was a 23,000 vote gap or thereabouts in favor of Donald Trump. That'd be hard to overcome. It would be hard to overcome, you know, a roughly 10 to 11,000 vote gap in, 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 in Michigan. So wh what is this proving? It's really not proving anything, uh, Neil. I mean, if, if they find some errors, the errors will be so insignificant that they won't affect the outcome. And again, back to the law. The law doesn't guarantee a perfect outcome, a perfect election. It just guarantees a fair one, meaning that the person who won got the most votes. So th they're not going to change anything. This is a bizarre combination between Mrs. Clinton, who told the world when Chris Wallace questioned her at the third of her three debates with Donald Trump that she would respect the outcome. Right, She's right. now going back on that. And Jill Stein, whom not that many people have heard of, has got all of us talking about her, which no, is probably right. what no, she wants. You're right.